you can't promise everything. You can't guarantee anything. But what we can guarantee you that is if we continue to do business as we have done it in the past, we will fail. Hitting the reset button at the United Way of Greater Cleveland. Now this morning, the organization announcing some major changes. Yeah, big ones. They're shifting their focus, and it could have a major trickle-down effect. Here's Jordan Vandenberg. The United Way's new focus is a case of one, two, three. Cleveland has the highest number of children living in poverty nationwide. It has the second highest rate of working adults living in poverty and the third highest number of seniors living in poverty. And with these measurements in mind, the United Way wants to change that, but it recognizes it has to change as well. The calls come in regularly. And the United Way of Greater Cleveland vows to answer them. United Way started here in Cleveland, and so that's 107 years ago, and it was a brilliant uh, uh, idea to serve a community, but it's an idea uh, that did not keep pace with the changes in our community. Under the current system, the money raised from the United Way's workplace campaigns, which was about $6.5 last year, were passed through the organization to dozens of other nonprofits. But under the new system, United Way will instead lead the network, partnering with fewer agencies with the focus on fighting poverty. President and CEO Augie Napoli says the new system and its impact will be far more concentrated. People were served, but we're really not making an impact. So the change is that we're setting and determining which of the most basic issues do we want to solve for. We're going to roll up our sleeves and get much more involved in the work itself, and I think that's going to be the biggest difference. Inevitably, there will be organizations that currently receive United Way funding that will no longer receive that funding as a result of that change. And Napoli says those organizations will continue to be funded through July, and they will also receive transitional funding through October of 2021. Jordan Vandenberg, News 5.